I'm going on a journey down a narrow and bumpy road I'm going on a journey so that I can learn and grow Reaching far and wide an adventure I will find That it's so great having Jesus by my side I'll be stretched so tall I might wobble but I won't fall Well, boys and girls, we are here at Backpackers on the last day Day five, we have oh. made it, and you know what? We had a little bit of luxury oh, in the way that we so travelled um, home because actually we took the plane. We took the plane. We flew back. We flew. We flew. So no trains, no ferries, no buses, no cable cars. The plane. We took the plane oh, for the last views. day. But where are we? Where well, are we? I've got a tiara on, so there's a little bit of a royal connection. A royal connection. Yeah. I have a famous icon from this country. Oh yes, I think a red double bus. decker bus. What I, have you got, I, Andy? I have the flag, the flag of this country that we're in here. It is here. Okay, okay, okay. I think there's a huge there's, clue there. I think there's some big clues. I think, we have <laughs> I think you some. might have guessed where we are. We, we are, we are, we are in London. We where are in we London. Go? And the hat says the it. The hat says it. We're in the United Kingdom, and actually, we are in Hyde Park. Oh, I know. We're in Hyde Park. Beautiful. This beautiful big park here in London. Who'd have thought that London's such a busy place with so many people? And it nice... just looks like you're in the middle of the countryside. Exactly. Absolutely fantastic. A nice river running through it as well. Wow. So here we are, 142 hectares of land. Wow. Hyde Park covers. We've got landmarks such as Kensington Palace, the Royal Arbor Hall, Marble Arch are all here. And of course, in London, we've got the London Eye. Oh, Andy, Andy, I've got a joke about the London Eye. Of course you do, Wendy. Of course my, you do. <laughs> my friend just fainted on the London Eye. Oh, no. But don't worry, she's slowly coming round. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot. That was a joke for a while. But yeah, absolutely coming round like the London Eye does. Perfect. Right, so here we are. We are back in the United Kingdom. We're back here. So we know the language today. We do know the language, but we do have a little oh, twist. Oh, a little, little twist, twist for later on. And we thought, well, we thought we knew the country, but we actually still got some funky facts, funky facts that we might learn a wee bit more I'm, I'm about sure the country. I'm sure you're going to come up with some ingenious that we things. But anyway, we are going to do, we're ready for the aerobics in the oh, park. Yeah, yeah, because so, we've been sort of cooped up in that plane. Yeah. Not up in the mountains, so in the park, outside, in the park today. Uh, and then we've got our song, uh, Going on a Journey theme song, which I know you probably all know off by heart uh, by now. Yeah, and you know the the words yeah, now. Absolutely fantastic acting, so well done. I uh, hope you enjoy that. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll be back with a wee bit of twist in the language and some interesting facts about the country that we live in. It's a cheerio for now. See you soon. Welcome back to Aerobics, guys. Today we're going to be doing another dance to a song. This one's to Our God is a Great Big God. Follow along with the actions, they're quite simple. You just have a laugh. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. And he holds us in his hands. Our God is a great big God.
journey down a narrow and bumpy road I'm going on a journey so that I can learn and grow Reaching far and wide an adventure I will find That it's so great having Jesus by my side I'll be stretched so tall I might wobble but I won't fall In circles up and down around the bend Step by step, not much longer For I know I'm getting stronger And it's so great having Jesus as my friend journey and I'm heading outbound I'm going on a journey over noon shaky ground not on sinking sand but on solid rock I'll stand and it's so great having Jesus hold my hand I will be stretched so tall I might wobble but I won't fall in circles up and down around the bend step by step not much longer for I know I'm getting stronger and it's so great having Jesus as my friend I'm going on a journey cause it's fun to see some more Such an awesome sight when I reach the highest height And it's so great having Jesus in my life I'll be stretched so tall I might wobble but I won't fall In circles up and down around the bend Step by step, not much longer For I know I'm getting stronger And it's so great having Jesus as my friend You're doing a great job, keep going. Sing along with me now, are you ready? I'm going on a journey, I'm going on a journey, I'm going on a journey. Yeah! I'm going on a journey, I'm going on a journey, I'm going on a journey. Take it away, this yeah. Down a narrow and bumpy road I'm going on a journey So that I can learn and grow Reaching far and wide An adventure I will find And it's so great having Jesus by my side I'll be stretched so tall I might wobble but I won't fall In circles up and down around the bend Step by step, not much longer For I know I'm getting stronger And it's so great having Jesus as my friend Stretch so tall, I might wobble, but I won't fall. In circles up and down around the bend. Step by step, not much longer, for I know I'm getting stronger. And it's all great having Jesus as my friend. Step by step, not much longer, for I know I'm getting stronger. And it's all great having Jesus as my friend. Step by step, not much longer, for I know I'm getting stronger. And it's all great having Jesus as my friend. Yeah! Okay, well, there we go. We've, we've done our robots. Uh, nice to do it outside, though. Nice to do it outside. In nice to park. enjoy the park, enjoy our time here in London. And the girls have done a great job this week. They have done. We've Amazing. been uh, blessed to have them well, yeah. as our robots team. So thank you to them. They've thank done a great you. job and they've kept us fit. When, because obviously we did a lot of travelling. I know. Uh, there's been a lot of sitting down to... in trains and buses and yeah. things. So it's been good to get our uh, get our, get, our get, muscles set, going. get energised for this 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 trip. So fantastic. Thank you to them. Right. Well, let's learn some funky facts about the United Kingdom. So funky fact number one. Now we are wearing a waistcoat with stamps on it. Ooh. Okay. But uh, I don't know if you knew this, but one can be jailed if they place a postage stamp with the Queen's head on it upside down. What? It is considered treason. Oh, and I just don't believe you today. Well, no, it's true. It's <laughs> absolutely true. But I, I, I don't know how much they would enforce it, to be honest oh, with right. you. But is it this, might this be sort of one of those olden, day... olden written rules that's ah, not been changed, but okay. they probably wouldn't enforce it. Luckily, we don't have the chance of it, because none no of our stamps have the here. Queen's head on it, so, so we're okay. That's exactly right. Right. Funky fact number two. Now, the UK 
has the shortest scheduled flight in the entire world. Now, I actually know that. Do you believe me now? Because I've travelled in the islands. And it's in the Scottish islands. It is, it is in the Scottish islands. It is between the Isle of Westry and Papa Papa Westry. Westry, And did you know it only lasts two minutes? Two minutes. Two minute flight. I mean, you've got up and down. Up, down. And By the time there. they've done all the safety here, the seat belt and the oxygen mask. <laughs> they've arrived. They've arrived. No time for even a cup of tea and a trolley or anything. <laughs> Nothing like that. That, <laughs> that would be a change. Anyway. Good experience though. Oh, absolutely. Good yeah. experience. Yeah. Um, and the last one, uh-huh. uh, funky fact number three, because we're in Britain. We're in Britain. And they drink a lot of tea. Oh, so yes. So we've got a funky Lots fact tea. about tea. Did you know the British drink over 163 million cups of tea daily? Daily? Every single day. How are you going to say a month? I know. Amazing, isn't it? Oh my and goodness. you know how America is such a massive country with so many more people in it? Yeah, yeah. It's about 20 times the number of cups that the Americans do and they've got so many more people. Wow. So that's how much they the really British are tea really days. love their tea. Oh, that's there's a great there's fact. There's I love some, that fact. There's some funky facts for our home country, in the United Kingdom. And we're doing something a wee bit different with the language, because obviously we speak English. We do. You speak English, uh, backpackers. But Andy and I thought we would just put a wee twist on it, and we're going to do a few little Scottish phrases. Yeah, so some Scottish phrases that we can... Uh, Change and tell you what the English Absolutely. English is. Okay. So, so my start. first one, Andy, is you're a wee scunner. You're a wee scunner. You're a wee scunner. Now, if I was translating that to the Queen's English, you are a little nuisance. You're oh, a wee no. scunner. A wee scunner. <laughs> right, I'll go one for you. Okay. So my one is, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. <laughs> it wasn't me. If you ah, you're, you're denying. Like now in Fife they all say, it wasn't it just me? It wasn't it just me, yeah. So, <laughs> and somebody go. else is involved. Uh, so it wasn't just me who yeah. did the bad thing, okay. it was someone else. Okay, good. Okay, and I have one. You're half your heat. You're half your heat. You're half your heat. Now, the, again, Queen's English should be, you have no clue what you are talking about. Ah, I see. Mm. Okay, I've got another one for you. Um, had your wished. Had your wished. Had your wished. Had your wished. Which, if you translate it into proper English, would be, oh, please be quiet. I prefer, had your wished. Ah, had your wished. Uh, <laughs> it's got a ring about it. It's a nice way to keep the class quiet as well, if you've been a bit yeah, joking, so quiet, you're going to react quite well to it. I wonder if the backpackers have heard, probably heard maybe a couple of these, maybe a couple of new ones. You have some good ones. Let them know about it. Let us yeah. know about them. Absolutely. Yeah. Fantastic. Right, so there we go. We've kind of immersed yeah, ourselves a little bit, and a little bit more culture of yeah. Britain and we're, we're here enjoying oh, ourselves. Oh, and you just found one on the language. Do you know what the longest word is in the English language? I, I, I have to say, I don't know what the longest it's word is. smiles. Because smiles. there's a mile between... The S and the S. Smile. Oh, that's good. Smile. Very good. I like it. I like it. Good. Okay, excellent. Good. Right. <clears throat> so, we uh, are now, we're on the last day, so we've got the last part of the story. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. well, how's it going to end? So, last time Jesus was betrayed and he was arrested. Oh, so, we're going to have to, yeah, we'll see what happens next mm. in our story. So, hopefully, um, we can, uh, we'll have that and we I'm can learn what to happens. That. Yeah, exactly. See what happens next. Then we've got the last bit of our memory verse. Okay, so the last bit puts it all together. Day five, part number five. Are you going to be able to say it? I have no idea. We'll have to wait and see. (laughs) We'll wait and see what happens. Hopefully. Backpackers, are you going to be able to say it? I think they'll do a better job than me. They probably probably will. will. And well, actually, today we'll find out which part of the Bible it comes from. Ah, so that's part of our uh, bit as well today. Then we've got our song, so we've got another song to sing, so you can get up and be a bit active again. Then we've got our last craft. Oh, the last so one. But here's, a good your, one. here's your pack. So your pack, you'll need that with uh, the bits that are there for for today's craft. Um, and then we've got our last interview with somebody who was there at the story. Of course. Oh, yeah. yeah so so that will help us understand the story a wee bit more, which would be good. And then we'll come back. And we'll test and see oh, yes. how Don't well you forget the quiz. You I hope you've got to be listening. Go on today. Yeah. And, uh, we've got our questions today. And we'll kind of round up the whole week uh, yeah. and just recap what we've learned. And Fantastic. how it all fits in. Oh, 
Oh, okay. I'm so sad. It's the last know, day. I know. It's the last day. It's sad. Anyway, enjoy the next part of the story, and we will see you very soon. Cheerio. Very early in the morning, the soldiers brought Jesus to Pilate, the governor at the time. Pilate asked Jesus, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus replied, Yes, I am. Pilate listened to the complaints of the people that brought Jesus, but he couldn't find any reason to punish him. Pilate questioned Jesus, but Jesus had done nothing wrong. Pilate called together the chief priests, the rulers and the people, and he said to them, I have talked to Jesus and I find no reason to kill him. After they heard that, all the people shouted, We want Jesus! Release Barabbas instead! Barabbas had been in jail because he had killed someone and the people wanted him to be free and Jesus to be punished. Pilate didn't like this one bit. He wanted to let Jesus go. So he tried to talk to people, but they didn't let him. They just kept shouting, Crucify him! Crucify him! Pilate tried again, yelling, What has Jesus done wrong? I can punish him, but then I must let him go. He doesn't deserve to die. But the people just shouted louder to crucify Jesus and Pilate wanted to please the crowd, so he freed Barabbas and sent Jesus to die. The soldiers led Jesus into the palace and made him put on an old royal robe, and he twisted together a crown of thorns to put on his head. Then they made fun of him and said, Hail, King of the Jews! The soldiers led Jesus towards a hill called Golgotha. They made him carry the cross on his back, but because Jesus couldn't carry it the whole way, he fell. The soldiers whipped his back and it hurt so much. A man named Simon happened to be near Jesus when he fell. The soldiers grabbed him and made him carry the cross the rest of the way. When they reached the top of the hill, they nailed Jesus to the cross. There were three crosses. Jesus was in the middle. There was a person on his right and a person on his left. Pilate made a sign to put on the cross. And the sign said, King of the Jews. The soldiers watched Jesus and made fun of him. Some people walked by and shouted, You saved others. Why can't you save yourself? Later, Jesus could not handle the pain any longer. And he said, It is finished. That's when Jesus bowed his head and went to heaven. Suddenly, a huge curtain that hung at the temple was torn in half from top to bottom, and a man that wanted Jesus to die saw all of this and he said, Surely this man was the Son of God. He realised he'd been wrong about Jesus. After Jesus died, a man named Joseph put Jesus in his tomb that nobody had ever used before. The tombs that they had in the past were cut out of rock, almost like a big cave. They weren't buried deep into the ground like they are now. Before Joseph left, he had some men roll a large heavy stone in front of the tomb. Mary and Mary Magdalene had waited a day to see Jesus because they couldn't go on the Sabbath, which was a day of rest. They made spices and oils as a sign of respect to Jesus. And on the third day, they went very early to go and see Jesus' body. As they were just about at the tomb, the earth suddenly shook. An angel came down from heaven. The angel rolled away the stone at the entrance of the tomb. The women looked at each other. They rubbed their eyes. They couldn't believe what they had seen. The angel was so bright and his clothes were as white as snow. There had been guards watching the tomb so that no one would steal the body of Jesus. When they saw the angel, they fell over. They couldn't speak. They couldn't move because they were so afraid. Then the angel said to the woman, Do not be afraid. I know you are looking for Jesus who had died, but he isn't here. He has risen, just as he said he would. Come and see for yourself. The tomb is empty. He's alive. Jesus is alive. Go and tell your friends. Soon after, Jesus appeared before his friends, and he indeed was alive, and his friends were so happy. This was the greatest moment of all time. I have just shared with you the greatest story of all time.
Jesus is alive. He is alive. takes my life from me and today is I give it up willingly John chapter 10 verses 17 and 18 shall we say that again I give it up willingly John chapter 10 verses 17 and 18 now let's lose one of the patrons I give it up willingly John chapter 10, verses 17 to eight and 18. Let's lose another bit and say it with us. I give it up willingly. John chapter 10, verses 17 and 18. Let's say it one more time all together. I give it up willingly. John chapter 10, verses 17 and 18. Now let's go through the whole. Yeah, let's learn the whole okay. verse. So. Jesus said, the Father loves me, because I give up my life so that I may get it back again. No one takes my life from me, I give it up willingly. John chapter 10, verses 17 and 18. That's you learned the whole verse. Well done. Bye, see you next year. Troubled sea, whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea. In the silence, you won't let go. In the questions, your truth will hold. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea, whoa, you are the peace. In my troubled sea My lighthouse, my lighthouse Shining in the darkness I will follow you, oh My lighthouse, my lighthouse I will trust the promise You will carry me safe to shore Love will lead me through 
last part of your journey. Day five and it's Friday and you have arrived in London, England. Um, and you're actually in a big park. Now, a park is a bit like a big garden, I suppose, and it can have trees and flowers and grass, sometimes a pond, or it might even have a play park. And today's craft um, is actually designing, making a miniature, <coughs> excuse me, a miniature garden. Um, now, to do this, we have two alternatives. You may even actually want to do both. I don't know. But the first one is to make a miniature garden using either a, an empty food tray or an old baking tray that your mum doesn't need anymore um, or a special tray you sometimes get to plant seeds in for your garden. So you need a container, basically, not too deep. And go out into the garden and either fill it with soil or you can use compost if you've been using that in your garden. Then I want you to go foraging. Now foraging sounds like an old-fashioned word, but it basically means you're going to go around your garden and you're going to see what you can find that would be useful um, in your miniature garden. So it can be stones, little stones for paths. Um, it could be sticks, cones, um, a little bit of a bush that you can stick in. You decide what you want to put. You won't need very much to fill it up. Um, you might even want, if you have some seeds left over from something else that you've been doing in the garden, you might even want to actually plant some seeds in it. But we're not just calling it a garden or a miniature garden. Today it's an Easter garden and it's to remind us of what happened after Jesus died on the cross. So I want you, whatever you do, to try to find a stone that you can put in your miniature garden to remind you of the stone that was rolled away. And everybody knew then that Jesus was alive. So try to find a stone to remind you of that bit of the story. Now, if you don't have a garden, then you can still design one. I'm sure you've seen all these garden designers on television. You can design one on a piece of paper. And in your pack, there should be a piece of paper for you to put your garden on. But first of all, we're going to make a tree to go in the garden, a special tree. And we need to cut out an oval shape like this. So it's not quite a circle, but an oval shape. And that's roughly the size that it would be. And then we're going to take your other piece of paper. It might be green, it might be orange. And we're going to make the leaves for the top of the tree. And we're going to do that using what we call quilling. But it means rolling up the paper and cutting. And you end up with things like this. So that's your long piece of paper but you've rolled it round and round and you've got this shape and it goes on the top like this. So you take your piece of paper and a pencil, put it down flat on a table if you can, and you want to wrap the piece of paper to have really strong fingers, press hard, and you're going to wrap this and to put it down for a minute round and round, keep rolling and rolling and rolling until your pencil is wrapped up with this piece of paper. Give it a good hard squeeze, take out the pencil, you've got a tube now. Now it's not quite tight enough so take the paper again and this time without the pencil, roll it up tight and be very quick. That. There you go. Take your scissors and start to snip. Now, just little snips. Don't make great big ones. Just little bits. Cut it off. As many as you think you might need. And of course, they look nothing like this one because they've gone flat. 
all you need to do is give it a little squeeze and you've got your shape. Glue them onto your oval shape and you've got the top of your tree. And then you can decide where it's going to go in your garden in the middle, over to one side, wherever you want. Once you've done that, take a pen and put, glue it down and draw the trunk of the tree and maybe some little branches. And that's it done. And then you followed all the instructions, so now it's up to you. What do you want to go in your garden? Paths? A play park? A bench to sit on? A wall? Flowers? Birds? Butterflies? Bees? Whatever you want, you design your garden. But try somewhere to put a stone shape to remind yourself of the Easter story. Okay, I'm looking forward to seeing these. We also have two activity sheets for you to do. Because you're back in the UK, we've got the Union Jack or the Union Flag. I have been told Union Jack is only on ships. The colours are written in for you, so you can just colour it in. You don't need to design your own this time. And we have an Easter word search with all the words that you've probably heard during the, the stories that you've been listening to this week with Backpackers. Boys and girls, it's been really, really lovely having you there. I haven't seen you, but I, I know you're there and I hope that you have enjoyed your craft. And I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye. is the final stage of our journey and you know sometimes it can be sad when you're reaching the end of a journey. I wonder whether the person we meet today will be sad because they're at the end of a journey. Hooray! Life is wonderful! Well that answers that question. You seem very happy. Why is that? It's Jesus. He's not dead. What? So he didn't get put to death after all? Formerly dead. But but you said he he wasn't dead. Um, that, that just doesn't make any sense. Let me take you back. Jesus was questioned by the council and by Pilate and it, he was ordered to be put to death, even though he wasn't guilty of anything. My goodness, then, then what happened? Tell us. Pilate tried to spare his life, but the, the crowd were, were angry. They wanted Jesus to be killed. Um, and so they shouted for Jesus to be put to death. And Pilate didn't want to make the crowd upset or angry. So, so Pilate ordered that Jesus was put to death. Oh no. It was so awful that he was made to carry his cross. They, they put a crown of thorns on his head and they really made fun of him. They called him the King of the Jews. Um, it was so heartbreaking to watch. And then they nailed him to a cross. And so he died? Yes, after a while. Um, when he did, the sky went black and the curtain in the main tomb torn in two. It was really frightening. Um, and then we were able to, to move his body and we put it in the tomb of, of one of Jesus' friends. And that was on the Friday. But when you arrived, you said he wasn't dead, and now you're saying he was put in a tomb. I'm getting confused. You need to explain. Yeah, so were we at first. We went back to the tomb on the Sunday morning, really early, and the stone that was that was in front of the tomb had been had been rolled away, and Jesus' body was gone. Then an angel appeared to us and said that Jesus was alive, and we had to go and tell tell everyone. Are you sure that someone just hadn't moved the body? That someone was playing a trick on you? No, it, it really was. It really was Jesus. We saw him. We spoke to him. Jesus is alive. He, he's alive. We, we've seen him face to face. Hallelujah. Wow, that is some story. Backpackers, we need to tell everybody. Well, we'll certainly be telling everyone. In fact, I've got to go and tell a few more of his disciples.
Well, we have met a lot of unusual people in different situations, backpackers, but this, this is the most amazing story of them all. Oh my goodness, we have to tell everybody. For a spot, your tiny little drop of God's love, God's love. How cool that I get it all like a mighty waterfall splashing all over me. Don't just get a dollar for a spot, your tiny little drop of God's love, God's love. How cool that I get it all like a mighty waterfall splashing all over me. I don't get less if I make a mess. I never get less than this very, very best. This love for me. It's totally free And nothing I can be or do on it So praise Him with your hands in the air now Praise Him with dancing feet now Praise Him with your hands, let's clap now Praise Him with your whole body in now Praise Him with your voice, let's shout, shout Praise Him, everybody go praise the Lord Dollar for a splodge or a tiny little drop of God's love, God's love. How cool that I get it all, like a mighty waterfall splashing all over me. I don't just get a dollar for a splodge or a tiny little drop of God's love, God's love. How cool that I get it all, like a mighty waterfall splashing all over me. I don't get less if I make a mess. I never get less than this very, very best. Miss love. So, question number one. How long does the world's shortest flight last? Mm -hmm. Okay, remember that was part of our funky fact. So if you're listening to that, you should be absolutely fine. Um, Number two. What was the craft today? Mm. What did we make? Mm. Think of the story. Okay, number three. Who did we interview today? Who did we meet and who did we interview? Again, the story. And so number four. Why was she so happy? Yeah. Why was the person that we met and interviewed so happy? Because we were a bit sad because it was the last day, but me and her. And now we're like, like cheered yay. us up. Absolutely fantastic. And the last one, well, he's a bit more of a thinker question. Oh, you need yeah, to think about this. A... Why do you think Jesus died? Mm. So that's maybe one to ponder. Ponder to over. These are really good questions. Right, do you want and to give us the answers? Yeah, I'm going to do the answers. So the shortest flight, if you remember, it's in the Scottish Islands and Two minutes between Westray and Papa Westray. Really short flight. So if you're listening to the Funky Facts, you would have got that one. Absolutely. And the craft today, well, hopefully you will be taking part. If you've not done it already, you'll be doing it. And it was the Easter Garden. That beautiful craft. How, 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 how amazing have our crafts been? Oh, I year? know. Really Real fantastic. big thanks to Roberta. She really is a crafty queen. Thank you very much. Absolutely. You know, we've, we've had some of them have tied in with the, the story that we've had. They've been excellent. We've had the Palmleys really on Monday. Good. We've had the Easter Garden today. Absolutely it's fantastic. been fantastic. It's been brilliant. 
And who did we meet today? Well, again, I'll tie that with story today. It was the woman at the tomb. The woman at the tomb. How amazing. I know. Can you imagine actually meeting all Jesus? These, all these people that we have got to, to speak to, and they've all told us stories about Jesus and meeting Jesus just yeah. after he was I know. It's just brilliant. Superb. And why was she so happy? Well, because Jesus was alive yesterday, and you remember how sad we felt no, and we were a bit. Uh, and now. And now we know Jesus is alive. Fantastic. And not just then, but now. Yeah, absolutely. Now Amazing. as well. Superb. And the last one now. This is one to think over. Why do you think Jesus died? Well, the real truth of it is, and it was so that we could be forgiven. He took all the wrong for us. And he died the death that we should have died in order that we don't have to. That's, that's amazing news. That's called the gospel, the good news. The good news, and we can be friends with Jesus because can be of it, and we can Jesus. have a relationship with Him. We There's can speak nothing to between him, us now, and we can live in heaven with Him forever oh. when that time comes as well. Oh, it's really brilliant. fantastic, really fantastic, brilliant. So we, we've met so many people. We've we've finished our story, and the memory verse oh, we've finished as well. And I, I wonder. If anyone can say all of it, all of it, it would be brilliant if you could even film yourself saying the whole memory verse and sending it to us, office at newcraigs.co.uk. It would be great to hear you. And you know what? The memory verse just ties in really well with our, all our stories. Everything pulls Absolutely. together. Absolutely. Jesus talking about the fact that it was his choice that he wanted to give up, his, up life his life so that we could be forgiven and yes. we could be friends with Jesus and he did it willingly oh, oh and where, where was it from Andy it was Testing from John it was John chapter 10 uh -huh. 17 and 18 oh and he's and got it so there we go so there we are so our memory verse ties in with the story which ties in with the characters that we've met all comes it all together. comes together fantastically well and here we are in a big park when they were in the, the Easter know, Garden. Oh, it sort of fits so in as well. So kind of fits in as well. So even the places the that we've been have kind of linked into yeah, parts of the story yeah. as well. Okay, so we talked about the memory verse. If you have a video, send it to us. Remember, you've also got your postcards from today. Oh, don't forget the postcards. So Any postcards. last minute jokes? So last minute jokes, last minute comments or questions or anything, send them to us at the usual address. Um, and also we'd love to see your crafts so any crafts oh, that you've made I'm sure you've made some fantastic and Easter garments one final today. thing to tell the backpackers about Andy ok yeah so our Sunday service yeah. because actually it is the last day of Hordico but actually we've got a special service on Sunday because New Craigs always have a church service on Sunday but this thing we're going to take it over and we're going to do another backpackers yes. Sunday service where we're going to be recapping the whole week Yeah. Um, and that's also going to be on the YouTube channel so where you're watching these videos you can watch that can video as well in. so we're going to recap where we've been because we'll be back in Kirkcaldy by then so we'll recap where <laughs> we've been and we can recap all the stories that we've learned Everything. and we've also got another interview lined up with Ooh. somebody else who Gosh, followed somebody Jesus else. yeah somebody else who followed Jesus oh, through uh, to their that. life and we can talk to them about about their adventures with Jesus so that'll Fantastic. be fun as well um, and we might even hear from a few other people that have been part of this week so that's on Sunday well. so that's Sunday on Sunday morning. Sunday morning so tune stay tuned to the YouTube video and you'll see it there we'll put some links up as well Fantastic. so you can find it okay well I think we oh. need to finish the week with a wee prayer. Absolutely. Now, we've been quite creative in our prayers um, over the last few weeks, so we're going to give thanks to God for such a fantastic week by balloons. So balloons are just going to appear, and we're going to read Ooh. what's on them, and we're going to pray about it. So here's the first one. Oh, well, there we go. This one says interviews, because as I was saying, it's been brilliant that we've been able to speak to some of the people oh, who yeah. were with Jesus, and reading the Bible, we can read about all their stories. So thank you, God, that we have people who share Jesus' story so we can learn about them. Oh, Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, here's another one. And I've got, thank you for amazing stories about Jesus. Yeah. Because we've learned just all the wonderful things about him this week and how he can be your special friend, Backpackers. And thank you to the people that have taught us. Because Absolutely. there's five different people telling us these five stories. Doing the it's stories. Been great to have them involved with it. Right. The memory verse, because the memory verse, as we said, ties in with the story. And it's from the Bible, it's from the book of John, and it's great that we have the Bible, it's great that we have these verses so we can remember, because they teach us lots about Jesus as well, and the fact that he was willing to give up our life. So thank you, Jesus, for the Bible, and that we can learn lots of it through reading the Bible. Amen. Here's one. Oh, thank you for all our backpackers. Do you know, boys and girls, we've had people from Kirkcaldy, Glenrothes, Edinburgh, Bridgeburn, all over the place joining us 
online and it's been fantastic and we have loved meeting you virtually um, and so many people have been able to take part Andy so thank you Lord for every boy and girl thank you that you love them that you care for them and you want them to be your friend Amen Amen what a great week we've had Yay. but we are not quite finished because oh. we will see you on Sunday of course, so please Sunday. tune in on Sunday and we can recap the whole week and that will be a really good way to finish our holiday club. fantastic see you then I'm going on a journey down a narrow and bumpy road I'm going on a journey so that I can learn and grow Reaching far and wide and adventure I will find That it's so great having Jesus by my side I'll be stretched so tall I might wobble but I won't fall In circles up and down around the bend Step by step, not much longer for I know I'm getting stronger and it's so great having Jesus as my friend I'm going on a journey and I'm heading outbound I'm going on a journey over noon shaky ground Not on sinking sand but on solid rock I'll stand And it's so great having Jesus hold my hand I will be stretched so tall I might wobble but I won't fall In circles up and down around the bend Step by step, not much longer for I know I'm getting stronger and it's so great having Jesus as my friend